One of the three victims in a South Tulsa shooting has just died. 25-year-old Shamitra Fields was taken off life support tonight. This on the same day Tulsa police arrest the two suspects. Tonight, police say the alleged shooter, 22-year-old Ronnie Barnett Jones, is behind bars. So is the alleged accomplice, 21-year-old Everett Wilson. Both are charged with three counts of shooting with intent to kill and one count of robbery. Only on 2 News, reporter Liz Bryant sits down with one victim's family. This is the street family members say 25-year-old Shamitra Fields was walking down on her way to the store just to get some milk. When she witnessed a crime, was chased down, then shot twice in the back of her head. I found my baby with her head blown, just but the back of her head, the, the back of her head. Oh, God. Help me, Jesus. Her pain speaks for itself. Head. A mother grieving as she just said goodbye to her daughter. My baby ain't never did nothing nobody. to nobody. Never. She was, she's even an organ donor. We cannot even donate her organs because this piece of you know what. This was the scene early Monday morning. Police say the suspects kicked in an apartment door looking to rob the place. They say everyone ran out and the shooting in the street started. Animals. This purity animal, they need to give them the death penalty. Maybe if they start giving these boys the death penalty for the crime that they commit, instead of giving them life without parole, they'll stop it. Doctors said they couldn't perform surgery on fields because the bullets are in pieces inside her brain. We have no other option. Her two girls don't have a mom because of somebody senseless, reckless, just ignorant, just careless actions. And her two daughters are seven and four years old. They wrote one last letter to their mother today. Mama, I love you. Get well soon and come home. Overall, family and friends described Shamitra as a person who would do anything for anyone. Just a few weeks ago, she was right here helping victims of this apartment fire clean up. The other two victims who were gunned down remain in the hospital in critical condition. Liz Bryant, 2 News, works for you.